Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm just going to share with you this pretty little painting that I did. This is on a 16 by 16 inch square gallery wrapped canvas, which I flooded with my Meaden Black acrylic. I've mixed four colors of paint. The first one is a beautiful, rich, uh, coppery nutmeg metallic. The second is gold metallic. And now we have silver. And I mixed a very small amount of oyster, uh, off-white pearl metallic. And I'm just laying down uh, almost in a puddle. Now, I got some new tools at the dollar store last week, and this is a rubber spatula uh, for your kitchen. And I, I got thinking about pushing paint around, which is sort of what I do with the palette knife, but I thought, what would happen if I had this spatula? And I sort of used it like you would when you're cooking uh, scrambled eggs. You know, you sort of scrape the pan and move the eggs around. Uh, so that's what I'm doing and it's uh, an interesting little experiment. You have to be careful not to go too far down. This was a white canvas before I put the black paint on it. But it's an interesting way to move paint. Look at the pretty ribbons. And then I um, used the spatula and just wiped the paint back onto the canvas that I scooped up and it sealed up immediately. So I started thinking, this is an interesting tool, um, and they're very inexpensive. I also bought a very large one, and I'm going to try it on a larger canvas. But this was the first time with this one, and it's about the size of the palm of your hand, maybe a little larger. As usual, a new tool takes a little getting used to, so I'm back to my palette knife, which to me just feels like an extension of my hand, and I'm much more comfortable moving paint around with that. So I'm just going to do some pretty small smears, uh, draw some paint around. I do eventually do some great big smears in those sort of solid gold areas, just to bring up a little more interest and cells. And for that, I'm using the Amsterdam formula with black oxide paint. And it leaves some pretty cells and lacing.
So I put a little bit of my Amsterdam formula on the back of my dollar store cake server and do a great big schmear across that gold. And slowly you'll see the cells and the lacing coming up. And I'm gonna do another quick one right there. That just creates interest and movement in the piece, adds a bit of dimension. What I've been trying to sort of illustrate is that once your paint is poured onto the canvas, there's lots you can do with it. Uh, you can smear it, you can add some paint to add detail, you can, uh, you could just, you can do some things with the paint as opposed to just perhaps leaving it where it is. Now I'm just adding some black lines in with the uh, popsicle stick. Just drawing some black through the color, breaking up the solid areas. Again, it makes it a little bit more interesting, adds some detail to the piece. So I've walked away and looked at it for a bit, and there's something about this little bottom area that's bothering me. So simple enough, I'm gonna pour some black paint in there, some of uh, the base coat, and I'm just going to wipe that away. Uh, I don't know, there was something about it that I didn't feel was as balanced as this composition is. So I'm gonna do a few more little schmears and finesse the final image and that will be it for this one.
thanks so much for coming along this journey and for watching this video. I hope I've inspired you to play with your paint a little bit. Push it around, push it around, poke it around, use a palette knife, use a spatula, use a cake server. Uh, any way that you can move the paint is going to make for an interesting painting. So uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. I think it's really important right now. It makes me happy. I hope it makes you happy too. So thank you so very much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up or a comment. I, I really do appreciate all your support and kind comments. So take good care. Stay safe out there. Thanks. Bye.